वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन ज्योग्राफी क्लासेस ऑफ क्लास टेन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी से समथिंग अबाउट द चैप्टर्स ऑफ ज्योग्राफी दैट इज देयर इन योर सिलेबस दिस 2020 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सेशन देर आर ऑल टूगेदर सेवन चैप्टर्स बट एज पर बोर्ड चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज फॉरेस्ट रिसोर्सेज एंड चैप्टर नंबर थ्री वॉटर रिसोर्सेज it will be only there for periodic assessment but at the time of board exams only map plottings or map pointing will be there in your question paper no theory part from those two chapters will be there so all together we are having five chapters as per the syllabus the first chapter is resources and development let me just clarify the term resource and development the word resource means stock of material and development means to create something so when any stock that is there in the nature and we are creating for our own purpose thus we are creating a resource and as a result we are accelerating the rate of development of a nation this is what the chapter indicates resources and development now let us proceed with a general introduction we all know that our planet earth is gifted with lots of uh natural things like we are having variety of land variety of rocks soil types rivers plants animals many other natural elements and another one natural element are the human society or we the human being now it is the human being their needs are vast their demands are vast so they are continuously interacting with the nature to satisfy their needs so when a human interact with any of the object that is present in the environment or that we obtain from the environment those natural elements are termed as gifts of nature now we will proceed with the definition of resource resources are used to satisfy our needs which are technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable now let me just explain these three aspects that defines the term resource suppose a piece of rock term it as a coal when we are extracting out the coal through the process of mining that means we are able to get access to that piece of rock that is under the earth's crust so technologically we are accessible to the coal economically feasible whether it is a rural society or whether it is a urban society everyone can use that product that we obtain from the nature through the process of mining so it is not so very costly that it can it is beyond the reach of reach of the poor society so as a result it is economically feasible and culturally acceptable why it is so because it helps to generate out energy whether it is used for the domestic purpose or whether it is used for the industrial purpose or whether it is used for the transportational purpose so culturally it is acceptable so when any en environmental element that we are able to access through technology that we can easily acquire it because of its feasibility and that is totally accepted by the human society that object is termed as a resource in other words when gifts of nature 
become of some utility to satisfy human needs we call them as a resource so hopefully the definition of resource is clear to everyone now how a man interacts with the nature to create a resource you can see this diagram a triangular diagram that represents the resource transformation here you can see at the pivotal point or at the center point of the triangle is human beings and here it is nature at this step we are having a technology and here we are having a institution now i'm just explaining it by giving a simple example suppose we take nature an element river water that is naturally obtained technology now when human being interact with that river water with the help of turbines at a particular place means the dams what is the result in we are able to generate out hydro electricity that is what the water has developed into a water resources simple example suppose a water river water is there we just capture the river water by various ways and then we use it in our homes for drinking purpose for cooking purpose or for any other reason so simply that water satisfy our needs and that's why it gets the status of resource so the diagrammatic representation of resource is being explained with the interrelationship between nature technology institution and human being this is termed as resource creation or resource uh, development thus when human interacts with river water through a proper technology of harnessing the flowing through turbines at dams then the resultant is is generation of hydroelectricity so gift of nature is transformed into a resource now every resource is having its utility the utility of a resource depends upon the following factors now suppose a teacher is teaching in a classroom for the teacher the chalk is very much important why because chalk is used to write on the blackboard at that same time the student does not have the importance of the chalk because they cannot use the chalk to write it in their copy so for them pen is very much usable so ability or to fulfill human needs is the first factor the second factor is the needs of a people of a region the third factor the level of a knowledge higher the level of the knowledge higher is the utility and the lower is the level of the knowledge the lower is the level of that utility of a resource and lastly the level of technology they possesses what is the status of level of technology that a human society possesses so only when man comes to know the use of a thing or substance it becomes a resource therefore the term resource does not refer to a thing but to its function function means the activities of human beings or its ability to satisfy human wants so we can conclude that man has created a wide range of products to provide better services to the community with the help of development of technology now today's topic that we have discussed based upon that i have given some question to do first of all what do you understand by the term resource here you have to define the term resource that is obtained from the nature which is technologically accessible economically feasible and culturally acceptable now when do we call an object or a thing a resource we discussed about the utility of a resource when any matter is able to fulfill the needs when it having its importance for a society or a human being then only that object can be termed as a resource do you think resources are the free gifts of nature
justify your answer what do you think what is the difference between a gift of nature and resource a question has already been given now every gift of nature is not a resource why because unless and until human interact with a proper technology at a particular institution that gift of nature cannot be able to satisfy the needs so simply a gift of nature cannot be a resource the process of transformation of natural things in our environment involves the interdependent relationship i have already explained by explaining the triangular diagram that will be related to this question just now i explained the difference between a resource and gift of nature now the last mention the role of technology in utilizing the resource now as i have already explained a piece of rock that is termed as coal is there under the beds that is uh, under the crust now with the help of the technology of mining when we are extracting out then only we are able to generate out energy so what we can conclude that the technology has a biggest role to develop a gift of nature or to transform a gift of nature into a resource so hopefully all the answers are clear to each and everybody and your work will be to pen down all the answers in your copy thank you